Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, feel free to tap that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. Hey y'all, welcome to Is That Your Hair Holiday. It is day three and I'm super excited for this holiday series. I did it last year, y'all loved it, so I brought it back again this year. December is just like, <laughs> it's the most wonderful time of year for a reason. So many good, fun memories happen during this month. And especially since it's my birthday month, December 22nd. And it's the end of the year. This is the time where I start thinking about my goals for the following year. So it's a very pinnacle time for me. Definitely comment down below how you're feeling about this year thus far and what are some of your goals for the following year. I know we've, we've been through a lot this year, but I think we can end this year strong. So today, I'm sure y'all saw the title. I am doing a wig lover's gift guide in collaboration with my homegirl, my wig twin, Brittany, aka the Hearts and Cake 90. Brittany and I have collabed several times before and I'm sure a lot of you have seen those videos so of course I had to bring her back for a that your hair holiday now I've been watching Britney for a very long time really since I first started watching YouTube in 2015 that's when I found her and she's had me hooked ever since then one thing that really stands out to me about Britney is that she is super thorough very informative and just all around a class act one thing I love to see on YouTube are people that take their craft seriously and that's who Brittany is. I can tell that she holds her work in high regard and it shows through every single piece of content she delivers. Seriously, that girl can do no wrong. So Brittany, thank you so, so much for collabing with me yet again for Is That Your Hair Holiday. And I cannot wait to see what you have in store in your video. If you do not know who Brittany is, my God, you must be living under a rock. <laughs> Or maybe you're new to YouTube. Either way, make sure you go check her out, check out her video, and subscribe to my girl because she is almost at 150,000 subscribers. 150K. Woo, that's a mouthful. Oh my God, I'm so excited for you, Brittany. Do know that I love and admire you so much, and I'm so happy to have you here. All right, y'all, so before we get into this gift guide, if you are interested in the hair that I'm wearing, it'll be linked down below. This is by Outre Audrina, and I got a lot of great feedback from y'all about her. So I was like, let me just rock her again. <laughs> since y'all love her so much. Also, my dress and my hat will be linked down below as well. All right, y'all, so on to this gift guide. This is titled A Wig Lover's Gift Guide. However, the gifts on this list do not just pertain to wigs. I do have makeup items on this list and I also have some other miscellaneous items. Just things that I know and love in my everyday life that make me feel really good on the outside and on the inside as well. And it's a holistic thing. I mean, yeah, I wear wigs, I wear makeup, you know, I try to wear cute clothes once in a while, but obviously there's much more to our lives outside of the wigs. So I wanted to make this list more comprehensive and hopefully you all like what you see. Now there is one question that I get a lot, especially lately, how can I support your channel? How can I support Is That Your Hair? If you've been wondering that, this is the video that you need to be watching right now. Cause literally most of the gifts on this list are from Amazon. And a lot of you all know that I am an Amazon affiliate, which means when you shop through my Amazon links in the description box, I do get commission. And that right there, pours directly back into Is That Your Hair, okay? And I noticed that you all have been shopping more through my links and God bless you, I sincerely appreciate it. And honestly, y'all don't even need to buy what's listed in the link. If you click my link and then just proceed to shop as you wish on Amazon, that commission will still benefit my channel as well. So y'all go ahead and have a field day after I say this list because I think I'm gonna say some things that y'all are really going to like, love, and yeah, let's get into it. So the way this video is gonna be formatted, I will start with the wig list first, and then I'll go into the makeup list, then I'll go into the miscellaneous items, and then I am going to shout out some black owned brands that y'all definitely should check out. So let's start with my wig favorites list. These are the items that I use very regularly in my wig bay routine. I'm gonna start with these two items right here, the bed head spray and the Ebony New York tint spray. <laughs> my God, these are like a match made in heaven. A lot of you are familiar with got to be glue spray, which I still have that spray. Um, I still use it here and there, but I like the bed head spray because it just seems to have a firmer and longer hold. And shout out to Natural Joy because she's the first person to put me onto this spray. And I'm just eternally grateful for that girl. She's just put me on so much <laughs> since I've been on the YT. So this right here, I think is a must. 
Plus, I love the fact that you can, you're able to get this in a travel size. You see? I like that. I think that's so cute. This right here is definitely a must because as y'all know, a lot of the lace that comes on these units can be very ashy, gray, white, ghastly. And y'all see me, I'm brown as fuck. <laughs> so I need my lace to match me. And this right here gets the job done. I love Edmonton spray and this is the darkest brown shade. I literally have like four different bottles in different shades, but I think they have like six or seven different shades. Definitely something for each person on the spectrum. I mean, literally when I use this spray, the melt is just so much more flawless. I absolutely love it. Please check out Ebony New York. I will link them down below. Now, sometimes I also like to go in with my Maybelline CoverGirl foundation in the color D90 to hit some of like the ash spots. This is another holy grail for me. I only use it for my lace. In the event that I didn't have my tint spray on me, I would just use this and this would suffice as well. So these items, definitely pick these up. All right, next two holy grails. We have the Lotta Body Foaming Mousse and the She Is Bomb Edge Control. And actually, Brittany, I learned about this item from you. This edge control definitely is bomb. Like it lives up to its name. I have 4C hair. It's very, very coily and tight. And my edges are the same. However, using this edge control, it definitely gels down my edges and it lasts. Like the hold on this is impeccable. So I highly suggest you check this out. And as far as this foaming mousse, I like the way it works on curly hair. I think it defines it really nicely. And this is good for baby hairs. I'm not a baby hairs person, but I've seen people use this on their baby hairs. And I love that it doesn't leave the hairs crunchy. It gives us a nice soft feel while still maintaining a hold. Plus it smells awesome. <laughs> That's always really nice too. Another wig bay holy grail is this water bottle. I first saw my boot wigs to waist length use this water bottle and I was like, wow, this is so effective. Literally, look y'all, it comes out like this. Y'all see that? It comes out as a continuous spray versus like the short spurts that normal bottles have. I use this all the time when I'm like wetting a unit. I use this on my natural hair as well. They have different sizes on Amazon, but I like this size. I believe it's a 10 ounce or 14 ounce, I'm not sure, but of course it's linked down below. All right, these next few items, definitely essential. You definitely need an edge brush, especially one of this size to, you know, do your baby hair swoops or even just to brush out your edges without affecting the rest of your hair. If you are doing like maybe a ponytail and if you are gelling down your ponytail and you're really trying to make sure it smooths all the way back, I find this brush is really nifty and easy to use as well. Plus it's travel size, so that's always helpful. And then scissors! Y'all know that I'm not shy to scissors, okay? So I know y'all see me using like my kids' scissors. <laughs> no. I know I'm supposed to use proper scissors and I have them. I have these tiny ones, which I do use to cut my hair, although I need to get a longer pair of these. And then I have shears. Shears are super important when it comes to thinning out your wigs. I'm telling you, get you a pair of shears and experiment. You don't necessarily have to experiment on your like $200 human hair wig, but get you like a cheap $20 synthetic wig and see how it works with thinning it out. Trust me, it'll change your life. I also have a video on how to thin out your wig featuring Outre Nisha, the original Nisha. So I'll link that down below in case you need a tutorial. Another essential item for me, this is not for my wigs, but hello, a lot of us have hair underneath our wigs that we need to maintain and take care of. And this shea butter, I mean, this just gets it right every time for me. It definitely keeps my hair moisturized, especially when it's wash day. I like to use this before I blow dry my hair as well. And also it has this, mm, this little mango scent. There's still the shea butter scent, which we know is really strong, but the mango helps this out. So I believe this is like $13 on Amazon, but I love it. I use it all the time. And I also like to use this for my skin as well because being a wig bay is not just about your wigs, it's full body. And I love lathering myself in this. All right, so now let's talk about the cheapest tool I have in my wig bay arsenal. Y'all see this? Y'all see this? This angled brush costs $1 on Amazon. I have two of them. I need to buy a few more because I just can't get enough of these brushes. I normally use them in my parting space area where I'm adding 
pressed powder. Just so y'all know, I do like to use my Maybelline Fit Me pressed powder in the color 360, which is also linked down below. I use that with this angle brush and it works perfectly. Love, love, love it. I also like to use it sometimes when I'm blending lace, when I'm adding some of my foundation. I like to use this as well. Everybody needs this type of brush in their arsenal because it allows you to get into very fine spaces easily without making a mess. That's what this is good for. So get y'all one of these, y'all. Throw a few of these in the cart, for real. All right, y'all, now let's talk blow dryers. <laughs> this trifecta here, oh my God, I love all of these for different reasons. So my absolute favorite is my Revlon One Step Blow Dryer Brush. I've talked about this brush a dozen million trillion times because it just it just works. I love this brush so much because of the way it distributes heat throughout my hair. And I like the fact that my natural hair isn't at risk for heat damage based on how this heat is distributed. The heat comes out from the top portion of the brush and I love it. I love this for my wigs. Love this for my wigs. When I'm trying to detangle an older synthetic wig, I go straight for this brush because you're literally brushing through the hair and then also adding heat at the same time. It's perfect. And I will link a video down below showing like how I did that with one of my wigs. But y'all, y'all need to, this is like, holy grail. And the fact that I use this for my wigs and my natural hair, I mean, can't be beat. Now this is my Revlon blow dryer. This is just a basic blow dryer and it has a comb attachment as well. I don't have it on right now. I used to use this blow dryer when I was trying to um, dry my lace when I'm a, when I'm applying a frontal. But this blow dryer can be just used as a basic travel blow dryer. It's definitely smaller than a Revlon blow dryer brush, but if you add the attachment, you can use it to comb through your hair. Plus, it's only $10. Like, it's so affordable. And I love that it comes in the color pink. You know, pink was never really my favorite color, but as I've gotten older, I just love pink items and rose gold. I don't know what it is, but this is super cute. It has three basic settings. It has low, medium, and high, and then it has this cool setting button. Price is right, y'all. So go ahead and pick it up. And my last blow dryer that I love, <laughs> it's so cute. This is by Conair, and I use this all the time when I'm drying my frontals after I use like got to be glue and whatnot. I love it because it folds so easily. It's so cute, so nifty, perfect travel size. I know a lot of you are not traveling right now, but whenever you do, this bad boy is gonna come in handy. But I say basically get this for when you are drying the front of your hair when you have lace. I just like how close it gets. In comparison to this blow dryer, you see the, the size difference? You see, I used to use this, but this became a little bulky for me. This is a lot more manageable and less cumbersome. I love this blow dryer so, so much. And this one is also like $10, $12, something like that. Now, if you are liking the items that you're seeing in this video, make sure you tap that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, you may as well consider tap that subscribe button as well. And right now we're gonna head right into these headbands. I know a lot of y'all know that the headband wig trend has been crazy on the YT and I hopped right on with it. Brittany, you inspired me to get on the headband wig train and choo choo, your girl hasn't gotten off since. <laughs> So in the past three months, I've acquired so many headbands. I wanna show you some of my favorites. These rhinestone headbands are my absolute favorites right now just because they're so glitzy and glittery. And y'all already know I've been feeling pink stuff lately in my life. So I love how dainty they look. You know, they're just super girly, I love it. I also like these floral headbands. I like the fall colors. I think they go well with a lot of different outfits. So these are lit. Now for my girls with thinning edges, or if you're suffering from PCOS or alopecia or something like that, these wide headbands are perfect for covering your edges. I have these in four different colors, but you see this here? You wear this in the back. You can wear this to the front if you want to, but if you're trying to cover your edges, wear this and it gives such great coverage. Love this one. I also recently bought some headbands from my girl Still Looking Good 58. Check out her website. She makes these high quality headbands and I believe they cost like 750, something like that. I have this pink one and she recently sent me some just as a gift, which I thought was so nice. This yellow one is super cute. Ooh, this would go good with the hound's tooth. I like that. And she even sent me one that is my school colors. I graduated from Howard University. Woo woo, H-U. So I love this whole red, blue, and white pattern. 
So thank you, Faith. Make sure you check out her store. And I am a huge animal print fan. I don't know where this came from. This happened like within the past year, but I can't get enough of the print of animals. <laughs> Specifically leopard and cheetahs. <laughs> And these came in a pack from Amazon. So of course, if you're interested in any of these, they will be linked down below. And also another great thing for coverage when you're wearing your headband wigs are these scarves. This is like my favorite scarf that I have. And it's really affordable too. It's like $5, I believe. And it just easily wraps around your head. Basic scarf, but I love it. The last time I used this was when I wore my twist bun headband wig and I wrapped this around and ooh, that look top match. <laughs> Ooh, and I almost forgot turbans. I recently became a turban girl and I bought like eight different patterns. This is one of the patterns. And you'll see here that I recently wore the black turban, which I think looks so good with this human hair headband wig. Oh my God, I'll link it down below. But yes, get y'all some turban y'all because it doesn't get any easier than that. Let me show y'all real quick. Ooh, girl, this lace is laid, honey. So of course I wouldn't wear this with this dress at all, but I think it's a very cute, easy look. And it already comes, you know, wrapped like this. So turbans are a win, get with it. I don't wear these as often, but I do like these satin headbands as well, especially if you wanna like tie it up into a bow. So yeah, you can check these out too. I have like a few leopard print ones and a, a bunch of multiple colors. All right, this is my last wig bay item before I start moving into makeup. This right here, the silicone silk spray. This silicone spray is a must have. This wig was not acting right out the pack, but when I sprayed this, it literally started, like you see that? Mm-mm, mm-mm. If I just spray some of this right here, all of a sudden, it just glides through the hair. Y'all see that? Silicone is very synthetic wig friendly. It coats the hair. Y'all need this, especially in the winter time when you are wearing all types of fuzzy fabrics. Those fabrics are not friends with synthetic hair. So you need some silicone spray on deck to make sure that your synthetic wig looks good. I'm telling you, sis, add this to the cart. If you don't add nothing else on this list, you need to add this. Now, another thing I noticed that Amazon had was gift boxes. So I was like, hmm, I wanna get a gift back box and I wanna see how it works. So I got this gift box. I believe it's like seven by seven and it's actually bigger than I expected. This is what the inside looks like and it comes with this here. So you can easily put gifts inside of here and give it to your loved ones. I think that's so cute. They do have smaller ones available in case you have like little like trinkets or stocking stuffers. But I just love the fact that it comes with a bow. So I just wanna quickly show you all how I could use this to give a gift to my favorite wig bay. Watch this. that gift box it's really spacious i was not expecting it to hold that big got to be glue but here we are if you like it it'll be linked down below all right now let's talk makeup i'm no makeup guru but i do have my staples that i love 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 and it kind of goes hand in hand for me like i wear wigs i also wear makeup and i come on camera so for me when it comes to makeup my favorite items are lashes i have these Gorgeous lashes on right now, and they are actually from C Sister. Her name is Amanda. She has a shop called The Queen of Minx, and I love her lashes. I actually got like the full pack of like 10 lashes because I just wanted to try the different styles. And this pair is my absolute favorite. And y'all see here? You'll probably see some glitter. Don't mind that, but 
definitely check her out now if you need lash glue i would recommend star glue i know a lot of people recommend duo glue and i still like duo glue but i like a specific kind but this one right here is just a good all-around glue because it has a very strong hold and lasts forever i remember one time falling asleep in lashes back when i used to go out and that joint was not trying to come off it's not a bad thing it's not like ripping out your eyelashes but it just has a great hold which i think is even more so than duo glue if you are gonna get duo glue and you are a beginner, please listen to what I'm saying. The duo glue and the cylinder tube is the glue that you should try because that is the fastest drying glue I have ever tried, period. But just know that the way the glue comes off is not the same as the regular duo glue. It's a little bit more messy at the end of the night, in my opinion. But it just dries so quickly, so I use both depending on how I'm feeling. As far as concealer, I use LA Pro Girl Concealer, and you can find these on Amazon, I believe for like seven, eight dollars. If you have dark circles, I recommend going in with the orange first to neutralize the darkness before you go in with your concealer. That is something I learned a few years ago when I started wearing concealer and it just makes a difference in your makeup, so definitely do that. I like these concealers because they're cheap and effective. Period. Now, if you're curious about eyeshadow, this is the glitter palette that I use. I have this glitter on my eyes right now. This palette cost me $9.99, y'all. Super affordable palette, got it from Amazon, and it has all these pretty colors. I'm wearing this red color right now. Highly recommend it, especially for beginners, because some people get nervous about glitter, but I think this is easy. I like to wet my makeup brush just a little bit. I swipe the glitter and just apply it to my eye, and then it's done. And glitter is just one of those things where it just takes your look up a notch without you even having to know what you're doing <laughs> for real for real so this is a holy grail for me i also use my juvia's place palette for other eyeshadow colors and i highly recommend juvia's place that i've been using them for years i love their products and i love that they're also affordable so definitely check them out as far as my brows this is a product that was actually recommended by my boo kyra sean i saw this on her video like well over a year ago and i finally bought it recently <laughs> Cause it was on my like Amazon list just sitting there. If you buy it through Amazon regularly, I think it's like $9, but it's actually on Amazon fresh for like $4 randomly. So I got it and I just love it cause it works well for my brows and it's actually dark enough for my skin. I love that. However, some of you may know that I'm actually about to encounter a new journey. I'm getting my eyebrows microbladed. Why? Because your girl has none. <laughs> I already put down my deposit and that is happening March 2021. I'm super excited. If you want to see a vlog detailing my microblading journey, let me know because your girl is tired of waking up looking like a mole rat. That's what she calls me sometimes. <laughs> I'm tired. I want to wake up with eyebrows. So I don't know if I'll be using an eyebrow pencil next year, which would be kind of weird. I've been using them since I was like 16 years old before it was cool. So yeah. And of course, when you're done taking off your makeup, you absolutely need makeup wipes. Neutrogena makeup wipes. This is imperative. These are the best makeup wipes in my opinion. I tried like natural makeup chemical free wipes and, and it just didn't get the job done. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I need chemicals. I don't know. <laughs> But this works so effectively for me and it's been a holy grail for years now. All right, so we are done with the makeup list. And if you're still watching this video, thank you so much. Premiere party, where you at? I love y'all. Let's move on to some miscellaneous gifts. Now the gifts that I've been saying are on Amazon and the ultimate gift, if you haven't already, get on Amazon Prime. If you're not signed up for Amazon Prime, what are you doing? I have a link to that down below. Go to my description box, sign up for Amazon Prime and get your life because the fact that you can get things shipped as early as a few hours later in some instances, it's awesome to me. I've had Amazon Prime for years and it never lets me down. All right, so now let's talk about some other items outside of wigs and makeup, okay? Some things that I like to use on a regular. First thing I want to discuss is my Philips Sonicare toothbrush. Where the hell have I been? I've seen this brand around for years, but I just never invested in it. And I finally was like, you know what? I'm gonna get it. And on Amazon day, Prime day, I got this for about $99. Normally it retails for like 150, something like that. Even if it was 150, I would still buy this. Best investment ever. My teeth just feel so clean after using this joint. And a lot of y'all don't know this, but I used to have braces and I've dealt with like issues with my teeth because of my braces and because of some negligence, to be honest. 
I'm still dealing with that. And honestly, I just want a perfect smile. Like, that's all I want. <laughs> I know some of y'all are like, guys, there's nothing wrong with your smile. Ugh, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> anyway, until I get to where I really want to be with my smile, this is definitely getting me there. It rotates like hella fast. You can hear it, but you can't really see it. And there's an app that you can use with this on your phone that will tell you, it'll tell you, it'll time you for like two minutes and it'll tell you the sections of your mouth that you need to be brushing and for how long. This is great, love it. So we talked about teeth, let's talk about eyes, okay? I wear glasses and you know what? I don't like using paper towel to clean my glasses. So I bought some new lens cleaner and I got it because it was highly rated on Amazon and I must admit, this gets the job done. This leaves my glasses so squeaky clean and when I say streak free, I didn't believe people until I did it myself. I was like, wow, this actually works. And this actually comes with three. So it comes with two bit bottles like this and then it comes with the travel size as well as these microfiber cloths. You get three of these. I think it's an awesome deal. And the fact that it works, I mean, your girl can see everything now. <laughs> I don't know what I was seeing before. But this Optics 55 is the truth. If you wear glasses, you need this cleaner. Something else I recently bought was some new slippers, okay? So these are my new slippers. I bought two pairs and I've been wearing them for the past week. And I love them both for different reasons. I love how the look of this, I think it looks so cute. And I like the pink, y'all know I'm feeling pink lately. But the memory foam padding on this just feels a little bit better and plus it has this platform sole which is thicker. This does not have as thick of a sole but I just love the way the fur envelops my foot. <laughs> it feels so good when I walk through the house. So y'all may as well treat yourself to these slippers and they're very inexpensive, like under $20, y'all. Get your life. Also, I recently bought a robe from Amazon, I believe for like $15, $16. I like the robe and I like the pink color. It goes with my slippers. The only thing I would say is to size up because I got a medium and I don't mind it being short, but if you don't like your robe short, you should probably go a size up higher. Now we talked about our eyes, our teeth, you know, our body. Let's talk about our mind, y'all, and getting the fuck organized, <laughs> okay? If you're not using a planner, you, you need to fix that. This is my baby. I use the passion planner and I absolutely love it. I be writing all up and through this thing, okay? Planning my life away. This is how I organize my work and YouTube duties. I would be lost without my passion planner. One thing I really like within the planner is that it actually provides you space to kind of be creative, but also gives you some directives, some incentives, and it has really meaningful quotes in there. And I like that there's a roadmap at the beginning of the year so that you can plan out what you want your year to look like and then go from there and see things come into fruition as you plan. It's really awesome. So awesome that your girl got her passion planner for 2021. <laughs> Me and C are gonna be passion babes, yay. <laughs> so y'all should definitely look into the passion planner, for real. I don't have a coupon code or anything. Normally it's like $35. I think I got mine for like 28 on sale, but Sign up and you get 10% off. And of course, when it comes to planning, you need some pens. Uniball has been my favorite pen company since I was like five years old. <laughs> so I also got their colorful pens because I like to color code my planner. So I highly recommend these. I got like two packs off Amazon and I was good to go. Also, I would be remiss if I did not mention that Brittany has a planner channel. Check her out at Hearts and a Plan. She has the happy planner and she adores it and I love seeing her get to work on there. Now another great gift that I think is great for the family is this game called We Are Not Really Strangers and it's a really great way to connect with anyone that you love. C and I played this game during the summer and it was really cool and actually Jada Pinkett Smith came out with like a red table talk extension to this game that I really liked. So literally you just choose a card, they have three, three different levels and you have to answer the question on the card. And level one is pretty like surface level but level three gets kind of deep. So for example, one of the level two cards, what does this say? How can I best support you in this chapter in your life? Y'all wanna know the answer to that question? Y'all can support me by shopping through my links. <laughs> 
and watching my videos to the end and sharing with your friends and family. That is like the best thing that you can do for my channel. And also commenting down below. Like right now, if you see something that you like, please comment down below and let me know what you think because y'all know I love when y'all talk to me. But yeah, this game is bomb and it's very introspective and it really helps you learn things that you may not have known about your friends, your significant other, your family members. It's awesome, so definitely check this out. Now, I have one more thing to say before I go into like my black owned business shout outs. Amazon gift cards. A lot of us shop on Amazon, almost all of us, right? So for the holidays, if you can't think of something to buy for someone, why not get them an Amazon gift card just to cover your bases? I believe it goes in increments starting at five, ten dollars and you can go as high as, who knows, probably like five thousand. So I'll leave a link down below where you can actually buy Amazon gift cards and they have a bunch of different templates. They also have things pertaining to different holidays and birthdays. So I think it's just an easy win-win for everybody, especially if you're dealing with someone where you just don't know what they want. Get them an Amazon gift card. Stop playing, stop stressing yourself. You got 10 more gifts on your list. Toss that Amazon gift card in the cart and keep it pushing. Ooh, another thing that would be a nice gift for someone if you if you have a little coin to spend and if you have a son or a daughter or family member that needs a new computer, get them a MacBook, sis. <laughs> I love my Mac. I got mine from the Apple store, but of course you can get yours from Amazon as well. I'll link it down below. I mean, I've been a Mac user for well over 10 years now, so this is nothing new to me, but this MacBook is new, okay? Make sure you get Apple Care because that'll save your ass. I know for me, I actually broke my MacBook, like I broke the screen like a month in, I know, so sad, and I only had to pay $100 versus paying $1,000, so get your Apple Care. I highly recommend the new MacBook. This video is almost over. I just have so many things I love that I wanna share with you all. Now it's time to shout out these black owned businesses that I adore. First one is the Hoop Mob. I know y'all have heard me talk about this in several of my videos. Her earrings are so dope. They're so lit. These are some of my favorite pairs right here, the Africana Studies earrings. This is the large, but they do come in a small size. And y'all have also seen me rock these rhinestone earrings. You see these? How these look? These are so freaking cute. I don't think she has these anymore, but she has a different color now. I love the hoop mob. Another business, Black Girl Sunscreen. Sunscreen is not just for the summertime, y'all. We need to wear this year round. And this is great because there's no white cast and there's not really a smell to this either. And it has jojoba and avocado oil in here, SPF 30. This is bomb, get this. The next business I wanna shout out is Melanated Kin. They sell all types of apparel and home goods and decor. I recently just bought, bought a sweatshirt from them that I cannot wait to receive in the mail because <laughs> it's just so cute to me. <laughs> Shout out to my boo Kyra Sean for sharing it so that way I knew that it was available. But yeah, definitely check out Melanie Akin. Check out my girl Deanna Monet because she sells a lot of jewelry and accessories. I bought earrings from her and a scarf from her and I really like them. So she just got started this year. Go check her out and support. If you're in need of skincare products, all natural skincare products, check out my cousin Serena Nicole Skincare. I've used her products before, but I'm actually kind of bad with my skincare regimen right now. I'm not consistent, but I know if I was, I'm sure my skin would look even more bomb with her products. Serena, if you're watching this, I need to re-up, girl. <laughs> But I just love that she's able to use all natural ingredients to kind of really get your glow on with the skincare. So definitely check her out. Check out Glee Made. That's by my girl Jessica. I recently bought my mom a bonnet from her because I love my bonnet so much. And I love it because it stays in place at night. I'm tired of my scarf falling off every night. If you're tired like I am, get a bonnet from Glee Made. She also sells wigs, scarves, masks, and I love the pretty patterns that she has on her website, so check her out. I wanna shout out Legendary Roots. I bought several t-shirts from them and I just love the different sayings on the shirts. They're black owned, women owned. They're just bomb.com and they have sales. So definitely check out their website. My homegirl Drea, she just came out with an active wear line called Fashion Incline. I bought my set, it's super cute. Y'all know I like animal print right now and I'm sure she has more things coming. So definitely go show my girl some love because I have gained like 10 pounds during quarantine. <laughs> It's a little ridiculous. I need to get my ass to the gym. So I was like, you know what? Let me buy some active wear from my girl Drea to hopefully encourage me. We'll see how that goes. If you are into perfume, I suggest you check out 
T Coid, T C O Y D S, on Instagram. She has a website as well. She's based in Dubai right now, and her perfumes are so potent. A little goes a long way. My homegirl Nakia put me onto her, and I've been hooked ever since. So if you need a nice scent and you want to support a black owned business, check her out. The next business I want to shout out is my favorite for a long time, Cashmere V. She sells apparel, purses, home decor, coasters, paintings. She's so talented and I love how she emulates black popular culture in her artwork, so definitely check her out. And last but not least, Colored Rain. I know a lot of you are familiar with Colored Rain. They really blew up in the past few years. And I remember when Colored Rain was just lipsticks, for real, for real. Now they've expanded and I'm just so proud of the owner. But yo, their Cherry Blossom is my favorite lipstick of all time. That red is a beautiful blue base red and it goes on multiple skin tones. So check out Colored Rain. They always have a sale too. All right, y'all. So this completes my very extensive gift guide for 2020. This is for my wig lovers and for my lovers of wig lovers. You know, you can get things for your significant other, for your friends, for your family, or just treat yourself. If 2020 has taught me anything, it's taught me that life is too short and that life can be hard. And when you make it through something, when you have been through the trenches and you come out alive, you need to treat yourself. So I hope that this list gives you a nice, guidelines to some things that you can buy for yourself that will have you feeling good from the inside out, okay? I wanna see y'all wigs laid. I wanna see you organized, planning your life for 2020, okay? I wanna see some lashes. <laughs> I wanna see you smiling bright because you just got a new Sonic Care toothbrush. Let's do this, okay? And of course, after this video, make sure you check out my girl, Brittany, because I'm sure she's gonna have lots of goodies in her gift guide. Brittany, I love you, girl. Thank you so much for joining me for a Zatcher Hair Holiday. And if you are new coming from Brittany's channel, welcome, come on in, tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss anything coming up. Currently, we are on our way to 20,000 subscribers. I think we're about to hit it by next week and I don't know how to act. I'm so excited. So thank you for being here. Premiere party, I love y'all so much. Thanks for watching this long video with me and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.